everybody, my name is Shazanae, and today um, I thought it would only be fair, and I was totally curious too, if I tried the original Too Faced uh, Melted Liquid Lipsticks because I've already filmed a review and I got three of the Melted Metal Lipsticks, so I know how they wear, um, I know how I like them, I, ch I tested three different colors, so I was curious about how the originals would compare to the new ones, so I picked up four colors of the originals. So so um, I showed these in a Sephora haul that I recorded not long ago, but I didn't go in depth at all. I literally just showed you the colors, um, like the boxes that I got basically. Um, so if you didn't see that, a reminder, I got um, Villain, which seems to be like a um, deep, rich plum color. I got uh, Fig, which seems to be like a dusty rose color. I got Chihuahua, which my daughter got to the packaging, um, which seems to be like, actually this one's a more dusty rose color, this one's more like, it's not quite pink, it's not quite purple, um, and then the last color I had gotten was Velvet, which seems to be like a blood red color, so um, same as the Melted Metal uh, video, we're going to be trying them on, I'm going to tell you how they wear, how they feel on my lips, and um, judge the colors on how they look on me so if you're interested in seeing these four colors then please keep watching okay so I guess we'll start from lightest to darkest so I'm going to start with Chihuahua which was that dusty rose color and one of my favorite colors so far just based on the packaging so they are they look the exact same as the melted metal I'll pull up a metal one um, to kind of give you a comparison real quick um, because I'm seeing that the whoop, excuse me seeing that the cap on these is um, matte while the melted metal ones are shiny so these are the two packaging differences so you can kind of compare them side by side but we're just worrying about these so let's see uh, same exact tip applicator as the other ones, which um, when I did the video uh, a couple days ago, I wasn't a huge fan of the felt tip um, applicators, which that's just my own personal preference. So I can already tell you right off the bat that I don't like the applicator. But besides that, let's see what the color looks like. Okay, so this color came out much more nude than I thought it would, which um, the color isn't bad. I actually really, really like the color. I like the nude color. Um, I'm really excited about this. But what I'm realizing with these melted lipsticks is that the packaging, most of the time, like nine times out of ten, does not match what it actually looks like. You know what I mean? So like this, I was expecting more of a pink where it came out much more brown than pink, which in some cases isn't a bad thing because I do like the color, but I just wish the packaging would match with the color more so you get a better sense of what, you know, you're buying. Okay, the next lightest color we're going to try is Fig, and the packaging shows as like a pinky uh, purple color, but I'm really curious about how it's actually going to come out. Um, the same exact pack packaging, of course, no difference, felt tip and everything. So let's pull out that bad boy. So this is what the packaging looks like. So we'll see what the actual color looks like. Okay, these. this is definitely one of the colors that matches the packaging. Like, I was expecting this color. Um, so I'm really glad that this was true to packaging. Um, but it is like a pinky peach... Uh, pinky peach, a pinky purple color, definitely more on the purple side, um, but I love this color because it's purple without being too purple, you know what I mean? It's one of those um, purple colors that you can be comfortable with wearing. I can definitely see myself rocking this lipstick over the fall and winter time, so I'm really, really excited about this. Um, this is the second color I've tried, and this, I've loved this color just as much as the first one, so this again was fig. I can hear a fly in here and it's going to drive me nuts, <laughs> absolutely nuts. So I didn't know which color I should do next to be honest, but I think I'm just going to go on the root of the purple since we just did kind of a purpley one. Um, so this one I'm going to try is called Villain, which I love um, the name of this one. I think it's like the cutest thing. So I'm, I think it's going to be like a really, really dark, rich purple. Oh, the fly is coming near me. Um, a deep rich purple so let's see what this one looks like wow so I would explain this color as emo meets Vogue it is so 
dark like it's it's purple but it's such a dark purple that it's almost black and I'm like wow like that's way out of my comfort zone I don't know though but is am I really weird for kind of liking it like this would take a lot of courage for me to walk out in um in public like this but I don't know like I kind of want to say this would be more of a Halloween color but I could totally see myself wearing this color out I don't know but I would ha I would wear like nothing on my eyes maybe some mascara and that's about it but wow wow <laughs> yeah that's an interesting color to have in our collection that's all I'm gonna say Okay, after that interesting one, uh, the last one we're going to try, which is another one I'm most excited about, is called Velvet. And it's probably going to be like a deep, rich red. And I love red colors. I'm always trying to experiment with different red colors. And there's one from um, Anastasia, and it's a liquid to matte lipstick. And I saw Carly Bybell use it on here for, I think, her color series. I think it was a red. And it was stunning. I wanted that color. It was like a classic red. It was so, so gorgeous. So I'm always looking for new reds, but um, this is one we're going to try. Again, it's called Velvet. And I'm thinking like it's going to be like red velvet cake red. You know what I mean? Let's give it a try. I always feel like I apply lipstick so messily because my lips don't have like an obvious lip line. You know what I mean? So I'm always trying to figure out where my lips start and end. Um, but this color came out much more bright than I thought I would. I definitely thought it was going to be more of a vampy red, but this is okay. I love this color. I love this red. It definitely falls under the category um, closer to a classic red than a vampy red, um, which I love classic red. I think this is gorgeous. Um, now, to be honest, I don't know exactly how these wear. Like, this seems very, very creamy. It's not a sticky consistency. It's not a dry consistency. These things won't dry matte, so they are going to stay um, a bit glossy, but that's the only thing that I'm curious about is if I accidentally like rub my, like I know for sure if I accidentally touch my lips right now, they're going to smear badly. Um, but I'm curious about, you know, after an hour, after a night, will this stay on or won't it? So um, to be honest, I don't really know the, the um, longev longevity, I think, um, of these lipsticks, um, which I'm sure this video is showing you guys that if you want to see like a 24 hour wear of one of these that I can kind of record in like intervals throughout the day, then I can most definitely do that for you guys. Um, but I'm going to get this video up and uh, find out what you guys think. Oh, it's transferring a bit. Um, and figure out what you guys think about these lipsticks and if you want to see um, me test how long one of them lasts like this one or um, this one <laughs> um, then I can definitely do that for you guys um, but those are the four lipsticks that I picked up if you have any suggestions or favorites um, either from the original or the melted ones then please let me know because I just grabbed um, uh, from the melted, the metal ones, I just grabbed ones that I thought I would like, and one of them I didn't end up liking at all, which was that like corally orange one. Um, but these ones were actually suggested to me on Instagram. Uh, a girl said that they were her favorite, so these are the ones that I picked up, and I was most definitely not disappointed. So again, if you have any favorites or want to see more colors, I can do four more of these. Just let me know. Um, but that's gonna be it. So if you guys enjoyed, please leave a uh, thumbs up. You can also subscribe if you don't want to miss any new videos. I'm on Instagram and Twitter. I'm transferring. <laughs> on Instagram and Twitter, both as Shades and A, where I'm going to have swatches of these pictures. I was taking pictures as I recorded for you guys. Um, and that's it. And so until my next video, I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.